air fryer. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not particularly crazy about deep fried food, so I haven't been in a rush to make this. However, there are so many techniques using an oven and an air fryer, and I had to try it out. It turned out amazingly in the air fryer, so I'm excited to share this with you guys. I have a slab of pork belly here. This is something that I got at the butcher from the Asian market. I've already cleaned it. Before we get started, bring a pot of water to a boil. Make sure it's big enough to fit the pork belly. Here I'm just showing you guys how I clean the pork belly. I'm rinsing it under cold water, patting it dry, and then taking one of those small face razors to shave off any excess hair that comes on skin on meat. This is a really good tool to have in the kitchen. It's a hack that my mom taught me, and now I just keep one of these in the kitchen, wash it off with every use, and it comes in super handy. You want to make sure that when you're getting pork belly that you get an even cut. That way it cooks evenly in the air fryer. Once your pork belly is cleaned and your water has come to a boil, add salt and gently lower the pork belly in skin side down. We're going to be parboiling this for 15 minutes. While that's boiling, we're going to make two different mixes. One is going to be for the meat. So you'll need a teaspoon of garlic powder and then you'll need a teaspoon of salt. This is a dry rub that we're going to be using for the meat. And then we're going to mix a teaspoon of salt in another bowl along with a teaspoon of vinegar. This magic solution is for the skin. What this is going to do is draw excess moisture to give us that crackly crust. We're also going to make a little aluminum foil. Tray. So you want to make it to size. All right, 15 minutes is up. This puffed up quite a bit. We're going to strain this out because it's too hot to handle right now. So just leave it there for about five minutes and we'll be back for it. As you see, the meat has like puffed up quite a bit. I am going to trim some of it off. You can season the trimming and pop it in the air fryer. Again, you wanna make sure the pork belly is as close to even as possible. Pretty even all around. It's not going to be cooked through all the way. The boiling was not to cook this through all the way. It was more so to soften the skin so that we could handle that. You'll wanna grab a fork and pierce the skin. Piercing the skin is going to give the pork its bubbly texture. You wanna make sure that you're just getting the surface of the skin and not piercing all the way through until you hit the fat or the meat. This is also going to help draw out additional moisture. You're gonna be doing this for a few minutes or so. When you think there's enough holes, there aren't enough, so just keep going. Blot with a napkin to dry. Now we're going to score the meat. I'm making parallel slits across. You don't want to cut too deep with this. If you've hit the fat, you've cut too deep. Just cut enough so that you're breaking the flesh so that we can season it. Take the dry rub and season the meat. Make sure you get the seasoning in between all of the slits that you cut. Okay, now you want to blot it again. Place pork flush side down in the aluminum tray that you made and then brush the skin with the vinegar and salt mix. You're not going to taste the vinegar, but what this is going to do is draw out that excess moisture and dry out the skin so that it's nice and crispy. Here it is, nice and glistening, ready for the air fryer. Once your air fryer has preheated, go ahead and pop it in for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Make sure you hit the shake button so that you can check on it halfway through. We're halfway through cooking time and it is looking and smelling so good. We still have about 15 more minutes to go. Pork is all finished. See the bottom there? It's all cooked through. Listen to that. 
There are a couple different ways to cut this. You can cut it skin side down or skin side up. Because I scored it, I'm going to be cutting it skin side down right through the slits. It makes it super easy. The pork is so juicy and the skin is a perfect shade of golden brown. Now I'm just cutting into bite-sized pieces. Perfectly salted. So good. As you can see, that was super easy to make. You can have crispy air fryer pork belly in less than 45 minutes. Cleanup is super easy. You don't need to start the oven. You also don't need to do any deep frying. I'm going to be enjoying this with a spicy tamarind dipping sauce. If you guys want a recipe for that, let me know. And just to show you guys, this is the fat that dripped off of the pork belly. Air fryer is still clean. You can just wrap that up and toss it out. Thank you. 